that says, what do the Niners have to do to finish out games when they have the lead? Who? that's a good question. Ben, why don't you start us off? How can the Niners finish out games better? Run the ball with Trey Sermon. Hey. Um, I, I, I think we talked about this a little during the offseason, but if you just look at what the what the Bucks did in the Super Bowl with Leonard Burnett, they showed you how valuable the, those big backs can be in those type of games where you really need to wear down teams. And I feel like that's the type of running back the 49ers haven't had with Kyle at all. So I feel like Trey Sermon can be that perfect type of running back to just wear teams down in the third and fourth quarter so you don't have to rely on Mostert to, to – to get you first down after first down when you're trying to close out games or, or another back who I don't think is filling that role right now. So I think Sermon to me, he's going to make a, he's going to make a huge impact. And I think, especially, like I said, at the end of games. Yep. yep. Yeah. I mean, the, the biggest, biggest thing that the 49ers are going to be able to do is stay ahead of the chains. Right. So um, doing that with a strong running game and also having a quarterback that doesn't turn the ball over are going to be, you know, two major things that, uh, help push the 49ers over the hump as far as being able to keep a lead and then, you know, even extend that lead. I think uh, when Trey Lance uh, week one starts again, we're going to have a, we're going to have a, a quarterback that could actually use his feet to get first downs as well, which is going to be another weapon that the 49ers haven't had. And I think that's going to be really, uh, really important, especially in, you know, those third and five, third and, you know, six ish, um, realms where, you know, we only had the opportunity for one of our quarterbacks to throw because nobody could really uh, was mobile enough to get it uh, running. I think having Trey uh, being able to with his move with his feet is going to keep getting those first downs, uh, be able to help uh, run clock off and, uh, you know, maintain the ball. So I think that's going to be the main things. Yep. I agree with, with both of them. That's, that's 100% correct. I think I mentioned this the other day on a, I don't know if I was with, with you, Grant, or on another one mm. that I was doing, but the, the, the ability to run the ball late in games is so important. And the 49ers have really struggled with that quite a bit uh, during yep. Shanahan's tenure. Uh, I know they, they did a pretty good job of it in the playoffs in 2019 in the, in the divisional round game and in the, in the championship game of just continuing to pound that ball. Um, but that's something that they haven't really been able to do because I don't think their offensive line had the size and you've seen them mm. bulk up there. They don't, you know, the running backs are a little bit smaller, so they don't have guys that can really pound it up inside. Uh, and they've done, they've added, uh, bulk there as well so i think that they they understand that the need to do that and i think that's why i think we're going to see a, a cha transition in the offensive style a little bit this year 